Working on an upcoming show, I became aware of the campaign that CI launched in November. Um, they asked me if I could play a part and I was delighted to join the campaign and, and to lend my voice. Um, many people still believe wrongly that domestic abuse is a private matter and, and that's what we have to change. Um, two women are killed every week by their ex or current partner. And if two people were killed at a football match or at a train station every week, you, you'd know about it because it would be in the news and in the papers and everyone would be talking about it and, and want to do something about it. Um, domestic abuse is a crime and those that do it are breaking the law. And I think we need to raise awareness around that. And so that's where the campaign from Crime and Investigation and Refuge Here For Her comes in. Um, a lot of the victims are isolated from friends and family by their abusive partners, so they feel like they have no one to talk to. Um, and Here For Her is saying that as a society, as a community, we will be there for those victims that, that have no one else, to let them know that if they find themselves in an abusive relationship, there is something that they can do. We, we have to let them know we will be here for them when they need someone to turn to, when they want to talk and be here to give the victims a voice when they're in fear for their lives about speaking out. So you can be here for her in, in different ways, from fundraising for women's charities such as Refuge, who provide vital emergency accommodation for victims, to raising awareness about the facts around domestic abuse, knowing who to talk to, how to get help like the National Domestic Abuse Helpline that's also run by Refuge that's available 24 hours a day and, and is completely confidential. It's also, um, it's also educating the victims to know that the way they are treated is wrong and recognising abuse when it happens and, and giving them the means to make a change. A abuse isn't always physical. There's, there's emotional abuse, knowing when someone's being controlling over just caring. There's financial abuse, like restricting someone's access to money or, or even taking out loans in their name. There's tech abuse that could be constantly messaging someone or tracking their phone, checking their emails. And I think when you're in that kind of relationship, sometimes it's hard for the victim to see that this is not normal behaviour, that, that they do not deserve to be treated like that. And there is help they can get. It's also, it's also really important to educate men on this as well, knowing what abusive behaviour is, you know, that it is a crime and there are no excuses ever for treating someone that way. Might make them consider their actions and, and be more aware of what kind of relationship they have with their partner. Crime and Investigation partnered with Refuge to get this information out there as, as widely as possible. They say it's almost one in three women who experience domestic abuse in their lifetime, which is just unacceptable. Being here for her is a way of showing solidarity with these women, even if we don't know them. We want to let them know that this will not be tolerated. Well, the Charity Refuge are a vital service for women suffering abuse, um, whether it's emergency accommodation for women and their children fleeing domestic abuse or the National Domestic Abuse Helpline, where you can get emotional support and information on where to get legal advice and, and meeting other survivors to, to share their stories. Refuge's mission is to help women to take back control of their lives following domestic abuse and, and start again free from violence and, and the fear that they've suffered and continue to provide care after they've left. They also campaign to raise public awareness and at government level uh, campaigning for legislation to protect women and children who are survivors of domestic abuse. And whatever kind of abusive relationship you are in, Refuge look to provide you with the right support and, and the information to get you the help you need. The work they do is, is, is life-saving, so it's really important that they get the awareness and support out there. We want victims of domestic abuse to know that they can reach out and hopefully make a change that, that will save their life.